Hello, my name is Amanda Goldsmith and I'm the Spotted Lanternfly Technician at the Lancaster County Conservation District. I'm back again to show you how to make one of the newest traps for Spotted Lanternfly, the Circle Trunk Trap. There are no sticky parts to this trap whatsoever, which really reduces the chance of wildlife getting stuck. It's very effective for the adult stage and it can be even used for multiple seasons. Today I'll be showing you how to set up the medium duty version of the Circle Trap made by Great Lakes IPM. Other companies are also working on making the circle trap and you can make one yourself using the Penn State Extension Guide online. Let's get started. You will need all the supplies provided by Great Lakes IPM, including the orange twine, white wristlet, catch chamber jar, two Velcro pieces, and screen trap body. In addition, you will need some extra twine or string and some thumbtacks. First, grab the white band provided and stretch it over the lip of the jar. Then use the orange twine provided and loop it under the band. Leave the jar alone for now. Then measure out the extra twine and make sure it wraps entirely around the circumference of the tree, adding an extra foot or two to tie a knot. Then weave the twine through the holes in the bottom of the trap and use the twine to wrap the bottom of the circle trap around the tree. You may want someone to hold the jar in place so the trap does not topple over while you set it up. Then secure the bottom of the mesh with thumbtacks so spotted lantern flies cannot get underneath it. The wire mesh will overlap in the front of the trap and the mesh should overlap around the entire circumference. For that reason, this trap works best on trees with a nine inch diameter or smaller. You can also just double up with two circle traps per tree, like I am doing right now. Just make sure the mesh overlaps and the spotted lantern flies will be funneled into either side. Next, stick one side of the Velcro strip to the plastic jar and screw it on. Stick the other side to the tree bark, lining it up with the plastic jar. and then use two thumbtacks to secure the top and bottom of the Velcro strip to the tree. Use the twine looped under the white band to secure the top of the trap even further. Bring the twine around and tie a knot around the back of the tree. Bend the wire so it puffs out in the front of the trap and makes a circle shape. Stick the wire into the mesh to keep it in place. And then you have a complete trap. Once again, the circle trunk trap is a great new tool that came from research from Penn State Extension and other great collaborators. For more information on managing the spotted lanternfly, check out Penn State Extension's website. They have a ton of great resources. Or as well, you can check out the Lancaster County Conservation District's page on the spotted lanternfly. Remember to check your vehicle before you leave for spotted lantern flies and keep on squishing. Thanks.